All right, guys, so we are in a new, brand new single wide in our Beulahville location. It is a Fleetwood and it is a layout I have never seen before. So it is totally different. I'll save that end of the house, which is where the master is for last. But we'll show you the other two bedrooms this way. Uh, it's pretty traditional. On this end of the home, we do have a second or third bedroom here. And if you come on in, and then uh, we have a good size closet in here as well. So it actually does have pretty decent closet space for a single one. It's not just like a little, it's not just like a little square, uh, which you don't see a whole lot. And there's still enough space in here to put a twin bed, uh, a couple chest of drawers, maybe even a desk. So there is a good amount of space. So we'll come this way and I'll show you where the third bedroom is. And on the way, we do have a separated bathroom from the other end of the home. It is really nice to have the kids have their own bathroom and kind of have their own space. But you just got to get on them and get them to clean it every once in a while. Uh, I know that's a problem we've had with my mom and her house. But either way, this is the end bedroom, which will be the biggest bedroom. Um, the oldest child will get this with no kid. <laughs> um, and we do have a uh, closet in here as well. So it still does have a decent amount of space in the closet. So the interesting part about this home is the other end. So I've never seen a kitchen slash laundry room slash master bedroom like this. So it is going to be interesting to see what you guys think about it. So come on this way. So as we're coming in here, this is your main living area. Actually a really decent size. You can fit a pretty good size sectional in here. Nice TV stand. It would really work for a family. One thing that I really like is this has bar stool seating. So that is totally different. You usually don't see that, especially into the living room. So it's really nice to have this bar countertop here. In the mornings you can get a quick bite to eat and you are not messing up your dining room, which this single would have, single wife has. You have enough space to put a really good size dining room table. I love, love, love that about this home. So many people in so many comments have said that we need space for a dining room. Here it is. Here is your space for a nice dining room table. You can still sit with your family on Sunday dinner, cook them a good meal, and you actually sit down and break bread together, which is really nice. One other feature I just noticed, we're gonna throw this in here, is in this manufactured home, which usually doesn't happen, there is actually a vent in the tub kick underneath the sink, just like in a residential home. And I know people, not everybody knows about construction, but most of the time that vent is just laying right here on the floor, so you would drop stuff in it. But this manufacturer, Fleetwood, definitely did a good job with adding a tub kick vent underneath the sink. I really, really like that. Definitely more uh, reminiscent of a residential style home. Um, I love these cabinets with the hood over here. A lot of people are going to that Euro hood. Some people hate it, some people love it. I like a little bit of both, I don't mind the Euro hood, but this is really nice to have more of a sew of a traditional hood and it kind of blends right in with the cabinets. And you also have a lot of space above the cabinets to make decorations, put books, storage, whatever. But they also took the wainscoting that they put on the top of the hood here and behind the bookshelf here, and they drug it all the way to the ceiling, which kind of draws your eye up and it just makes it really nice as far as from a design standpoint. So it just makes the house a lot different than traditional homes. We do have, as you hear on my squeaky boots, this beautiful farmhouse timber flooring. It has been around, a lot of people have had it, but this one just matches this house so perfectly. I love the way it turns out in this home. So come in this way and leave me a comment below what you think about this, honestly, tell me. So this is leading to your master. You come directly off the kitchen. You have a uh, laundry room here that is really, really nice. You do have the shelving and you do have the space for your washer and dryer and you do have a door right here. Now, 
Like I said in my last video, y'all keep saying that there's no room for a deep freezer. In this single one, there's room for a deep freezer right here. <laughs> there's a plug and there is space for a stand-up deep freezer or just a small chest one. So we're getting there on the deep freezers. Y'all keep leaving comments and we keep adding stuff. I'm just saying. Keep leaving comments. Um, coming on into the master bedroom, it is a lot of space in here. You can fit a nice bed, chest of drawers, TV. And you also still have a decent sized closet. You actually have his and her side of the closet. So you do have enough space in there to put everything that you might need. Um, we do have two really nice windows letting in a lot of natural light into this bedroom. And we have pretty decent sized ceilings. I'm six foot and it's probably about eight and a half foot ceilings in this single wide. I know if you have been in an older single wide, a lot of the ceilings were a lot lower. They're actually getting a lot higher now and giving you a lot more breathable space is what I like to call it because I cannot stand to feel like I'm cramped in a house, but these don't make me feel this way. So coming on into the master bathroom, we do have a dual vanity sink, his and her sinks, which is really nice. We went ahead and put the uh, mirrors and the sconces above it as well. We do have a window right here letting in some natural light. We come in over here, we do have a shower that is a walk-in shower. I'm gonna close this door real quick. We do have a walk-in shower that gives you enough breathable room to have a nice shower in the morning. You don't have to worry so much about being in a rush or anything. You got enough space uh, or feel cramped. Um, here we do have a nice linen closet or what do we call open shelving linen closet. You do have enough space here to put your towels, all everything that you might need for your bathroom. So maybe back in the kitchen, we'll go over the final details of this house. Come on this way. So like I said before, let me know what you think about this. It is very different. I have honestly never seen it before. Um, so let me know what you think about it. We'd love to get your opinions. Uh, coming on into the kitchen, I will get, just like I said in the other video, I will get the price on this one as well if I had to take a guess. It's probably, um, you know, I'm not even gonna take a guess. I'll just get with the information and I'll get the correct information. But this home is definitely different than anyone else I have seen recently when it comes to single wide layouts. So they really have done something different with this home. Uh, we would love for you guys to come see it in person in Beulahville. All their contact information will be down below. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that little notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new video. All of our other social medias will be listed below as well. So we hope you come back and see another tour. See you next time. All right, guys. So we are back. You really, really liked the fact that we did some tips on one of our other videos. So this is house tips or home buying tips with Austin. Um, we wanted to talk about the pros and cons of ordering versus buying off of one of our lots. Now, there are pros and cons to both, but I wanna go over the pros and cons of ordering. One of the big, big pros of ordering a home is that you, as the customer, get to completely design the home. You get to pick the colors, you get to pick the layout, you get to pick the features, you get to change things around, you know, as long as the factory is okay with that. So that is a major pro in my book. Um, if you are not the type that really cares too much about color or anything like that, one of the major pros to getting one off of our lot is that you will be saving money. Because that home had been ordered in past, the invoice for what we pay on it is less than ordering brand new, which means in turn, what you pay is gonna be less than ordering new because the factory charges us and we have to charge you. So if the factory charges us more, we have to charge you more, unfortunately. But that is one of the major pros of ordering off the lot is that most of the time, if you're comparing it to the same exact home, you are gonna be saving money because nine times out of 10, that home has gone up in price just due to construction labor and construction materials, all of that, and a lot of stuff I don't wanna get into. Uh, just kind of confusing. So those are the two major pros in between ordering and buying off of the lot. Now, I'll talk one of the major cons of ordering. One of the major cons of ordering 
could be a backlog at the factory, which means that they had a bunch, a bunch of orders come in at once, and that means they're trying to process those orders. Now, nobody really can control backlogs. Nobody can really control how um, long it's going to take you to order your home. So it doesn't matter how far out or how great your your house is, if it's ready, your loan's done, none of that, then you still have to wait for the backlog. And it could be a little longer than normal. Now, sometimes backlogs are like four weeks, which is great. Um, so that is one of the major cons. The other major con to ordering uh, or buying off of the lot is that you don't get to pick out your colors. So once the home is made, once the home is here, the colors are what they are. And if you're wanting to save that money, you're gonna to have to stick with those colors. So those are the major pros and cons of both. So that's my tip for the day, and we will see you next time.